Nerd Focus Energy Drink and Crescent Tools. And now let's go to your Crescent Tools, tail of the tape. Before the birthday cake, we go to the heavyweight division, Zach Kalmus versus Mike Furnier. You can see here, Zach Kalmus does have a slight three inch height advantage. He does have a four centimeter bigger fist. That surface area, bigger area. Let's see if that makes a difference here, Sean. Mike Furnier set to make his BKFC debut. He's a veteran of two pro boxing bouts. He's had 13 AMI MMA bouts. In our fighter meeting, Mikey Furnier described himself as a quote unquote technical brawler. Feels like his key right here, he has to have accuracy, wants to pick his shots very well. Utilize that footwork. Said he needs to keep his hands up more. He really loves that Philly shell, but he cannot use that in this fight. I think that's great. Furnier also said, I want to be all the way in or all the way out. Straight punches when I'm coming forward, long jabs from range of his opponent in this heavyweight bout, Zach Kalmus. Mikey Furnier said Kalmus is very durable, but with that, he's also really hittable. Well, what Furnier said he wants to stay away from is a brawl. He cannot get in there and just get sucked into that. He's got to be more technical at those great punches. Three fights in BKFC for Zach Kalmus, including March of last year when he defeated Kyle McElroy by unanimous decision. And you can see right from the first punch, Zach Kalmus is gonna come, get in your face, throw hard punches the entire time. He said he's really putting the focus right now, and you can see here on defense, he learned from his first few fights, you cannot just get hit the entire time, you can't trade, you gotta work on defense. He's mixing that in well with his offense, Throwing hard punches the entire time. But look, a showman the entire time, wanting to be out here, wanting to entertain the masses right here. But he just loves being in the squared circle. Very happy to be here, and he always puts on a great fight. One of the biggest personalities in bare knuckle fighting championship, Zach Kalmus. Kalmus also 1 0 in pro boxing. In our fighter meeting, Kalmus used the word craftier. He said, entering my fourth BKFC bout, I want to throw craftier combinations. I also want to showcase better head movement. I've really been working on moving my head, moving my feet, throwing my jab, and then throwing those craftier combinations. Yeah, and really focus on defense, not taking so much damage. Since he has good cardio right now, wants to utilize that the entire time by going hard the entire fight. But like you said, wants to be more technical right there. Feels like he can get the finish within three rounds. Galma said, I don't want to try to force the knockout. For me, my goal early on is to put together four and five punches at a time. Like you said, he's not going in there looking for the knockout. He just wants to spike the play out organically. I love it when he said that he understands the whole fight game when he's talking about letting the fight happen organically. Once again, Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for our next fight of the night scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the heavyweight division presented to you by knockout gummies introducing to you first fighting out of the red corner tonight he wears black and gold he stands five feet nine inches tall his official weight 262.2 pounds he holds a pro boxing record of two fights and tonight makes his bkfc debut fighting out of wheelersburg oh Ohio, here is Mikey Furnier. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears Snow Tiger with red. He stands an even six feet tall. His official weight, 255.8 pounds. Tonight, he steps into the squared circle, ready for bare knuckle fight number four. Fighting out of Gloucester, Massachusetts, here is Zach Shark Attack Calvis. 
and our referee in charge of the action, Eric Irizarry. Zach Kalmas said, I feel that I'm a much better technical striker than Mikey Fernier. I cannot allow myself to get sucked into a brawl. KFC debut for referee Eric Irizarry. He starts this bout, round number one. Kalmas true to his word, Chris, a very measured start, sitting on the back foot. Hand side looking for the double jab. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Short hand, right, left hand. Big shots on the inside as the left hand getting through from Kalmas. Fernier to the right hand, right hand from Kalmas. Down goes Mikey Fernier. Cut him right behind the ear, Sean. You hit somebody there and they're probably going down. Here is Zari with the mandatory eight. What is it? And you can tell Fernier right now, he had a good smile on his face right Look there. Knows he got caught. Kalmas said, I won't try to force or rush the knockout. We'll see how hard he goes for it now. Big left hand, right hand, huge hooks. There's the counter left from Fernier. Kalmas right hand, left hand. Knockdown number two. Three, four, he got hit with a lot of shots, but Fernier still looks Seven, like his wits are about him right now. Eight, Legs are still four. underneath him. Got to be careful right now, though. 55 seconds remaining, round number one. Great start to this fight for Zach Kalmas. Into the clinch comes Mikey Fernier. Fernier on the overhand right. Half time plum. Big right hand, right hook to the body. Right uppercut to the body from Kalmas. Fernier on the right hand. Still a half time plum from Zach Kalmas. Right hand on the exit. Left hand on the entry. And right now, Zach's going to be careful that he's not burning himself out. 30 seconds remaining, round number one. He's going for this knockout right now, but if he doesn't get it, is he going to have anything left for the rest of the fight? Smear of blood on the left cheek of Zach Kalmas. Fernier cut outside of his right brow. Right hand on the entry from Mikey Fernier. Down twice in round number one in his BKFC debut. Mikey Fernier, and now down three times in round number one in his BKFC debut. And that's just being overwhelmed with the volume right there. Is that Kalmas? And blood flowing freely into Fernier's right eye. Cut on the right brow. That's the end of round number one. Medical timeout now called by referee Eric Irizarry. Cut over the eye. Fernier right there. Let's see what that means. If they can get the bleeding stuff, if it continues to bleed, it's going to be a problem. Here's just the onslaught right there that's going on. Zach Kalmas. There's that shot right behind the ear. Second knockdown being shown right here. Look, just a nice left hand to the temple. And this last knockdown, this was just a lot of punches being thrown. I did for a timeout. We just saw the tail end of that. That was about a 30 piece combination right there, Sean. The end of round number one, referee Eric here is already calling time. So we're going to have longer than 60 seconds here. That was for a medical assessment of Mikey Fernier. Now both fighters getting the full 60 seconds for their corners to work on that and speak to them. And so we are fortunate to have the best cut man in the world. If you can do cut work here, you're, you're definitely one of the best in the world. Because there, there is a lot of cuts, but they do a great job. Very few fights are not due to the blood not being able to be stopped. It's usually due to the cut in the bad place, and the doctors just feel the safest thing is to stop the fight. We do have the greatest cut man around. There's BKFC cut man. Also, one and BKFC fighter, Guillermo Perez. Zach Kalmas. One more time. We'll have to Cut men BKFC like in MMA right. are neutral. They're just simply Look assigned to corners. Fighters, with very rare exceptions, do not bring their own cut men in BKFC. Same as in MMA. Much different than boxing, of course, where it's part of your entourage. Round number two, left hand, right hand. Better start to round number two for Mikey Fernier. Fernier's got to keep his hands up. You see him right on his waist, went right at throw punches, and he got hit in the face with a two piece. There's the jab now, the right hand. Jab right back, good right hand from Kalmas. Fernier dipping his head, throws the left hand, half tie plum snatched again by Kalmas overhand right. And Kalmas is throwing some good body shots in there every now and again. Knockdown number four, ruled a slip for referee Eric Irizarry. Irizarry saying there was a push down, not a knockdown, right back to it. Hands high and tight for Kalmas coming forward. Good left hand on the counter from Fernier. 
He's got to keep his hands up. He keeps dropping them, just waiting for his offensive Nine. turn. That's Nine. clearly a knockdown. Right hand to the body. Four. Knockdown Five. number four. Six. Seven. Burns is getting Eight. overwhelmed with volume right Nine. now, I believe. Bam. The count of ten reached, and yeah. the win for Zach Kalmas. And Zach Kalmas just keeps getting better right there. Wild technique right there, but it was very effective the way he continued to get inside and overwhelm his opponent. The evolution of Zach Kalmas continues. His second victory in four fights in BKFC with authority. Four knockdowns recorded by Kalmas versus Mikey Furnier. Three in round number one, and then one to the finish line here in round two. Calvin's did a great job of throwing some sneaky body punches in there every now and again. Look, right there, the another one, another few little punches. I lost the truth. Those do so much damage and bare knuckle. Respect to Mike Infernier, he's a warrior. Usually That's when you get guys right who start to work the body, they're doing very well. At the top of the hour, just over 15 minutes from now, our main card begins. Scan the QR code on your screen. Go to bkfc.com. Download the BKFC app. That's the way to watch our main card. BKFC 39, it is our debut here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's a real man right there, all of us are. Warriors, we just do it a little different. Zach Kalmas, again, he's uh, not going to rush the knockout. I'm not going to force it. My focus is putting four and five punches together, and I feel the finish will come. Check, check, and check. Well, Sean, he messed up there. He didn't throw four or five punches. He threw like 14, 15, maybe 20. He just threw a lot of punches right there. But that's the way the fight played out. He said it wouldn't happen organically, and I believe that's what happened. Here. Mikey Furnier was tough. He was game. Pulling himself off the canvas three times around number one, but the onslaught with power and precision from Zach Kalmas to victory. Here's Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Eric Elizotti, reaches the count of 10 at 49 seconds into round number two. For your winner by KO, Zach Shark Attack! And Sean, with Zach's dedication to this sport, you can tell he just keeps getting better and better, trying to work to be a contender in the heavyweight division. Zach Kalmas, as we talked about as he walked towards the ring, is a huge personality. He is always respectful. He is always first class. And that was a first class performance in the BKFC ring for Zach Kalmas. Precision, onslaught, and the combinations to the head, to the body, to the win. Victorious by way of second round TKO, Zach Kalmas defeats Mikey Furnier.